Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video, friends, we are going to be unboxing the August Witch's Roots box. <laughs> I'm tired today, so but I really do want to unbox this and because um, I'm just super excited about it and I know you guys love watching these as well. So um, we're just kind of a chill unboxing today. I'm on the couch. I got one of my, my little squishy bat guy here and we're just gonna we're just gonna relax and have a nice peaceful unboxing. Feel free to to cuddle up in a nice spot, grab a blanket, grab a pillow. Let's just get into it. Okay, so this month's theme is, ooh, the Psychic Vision. So we have Sodalite. It looks like it's going to be our stone. Here's one of our artworks we got. God, it's just so pretty. I love their artwork. <laughs> if you're new here, um, I love their artwork. I tend to like keep a lot of these and, and post them around, but Witches Roots, Witches Moon, their artwork is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's actually kind of perfect. I open this. Look at my hair. So I just dyed it like the other day and it's now like more of a, what's the word? What is the word? So I just dyed my hair the other day. I don't know if you noticed, it's more of an indigo color. It really matches the soda light. Well, maybe a little more purple than it, but it's beautiful. Okay, so it is elements. We have water, celestial influence is Venus and Earth, and Zodiac, Libra and Sagittarius. I love all these, I love reading all these things. So love learning about the different things. Our oracle card for this month, first of all, beautiful artwork here. I'm hoping you guys can see everything. I'm using the, the natural light from my front window because, again, I don't got the energy to set our ring light today, so this is kind of what we're doing, but that's beautiful. Oh, this is pertinent. It says, declutter for calm. Find something that symbolizes your worry and let it go from your life with peace and acceptance. When this is done, sift through objects and belongings and choose to keep only those that bring purpose and pleasure. Lord knows I really need to do this, especially like with clothes and house stuff because I can be a little bit of a hoarder with stuff. I keep a lot of stuff that honestly either doesn't fit me anymore or I just don't wear. Maybe the universe is really telling me, hey Jenny, get it together and clean some stuff up. <laughs> Maybe it's telling you that as well. Ooh, our herb is Damiana. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, here's the artwork for this one. This is cool. Okay, so element fire and water, uh, celestial influence, Mars, Venus, Zodiac, Scorpio. That's my rising, so <laughs> um, maybe that's why I am enjoying this so much. Ooh, other names. I always like telling you guys the other names because sometimes people from different regions, we know stuff as other names than maybe it's typically known as, also known as Aphrodisiaca. Uh, Boric, oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin all these names. I am so sorry. Um, Fule de Damian, Herba de la Pastora, Herba del Venado, Lovely, oh, love that one. <laughs> um, Mexican Holly, mm, ooh, Mizibok, Old Woman's Broom, Oreganillo, and Pastoracita. Turnerate. God, some of this is, I just, it, the, the font they use is hard to read sometimes. Because I've heard of, I think one of my friends actually, for one year, um, she made like a syrup extract, I think it was Damiana, and it was meant to be like an aphrodisiac thing, so she gave it out to her friends as like a Yule gift, and like these beautiful glass bottles, and it was, it was so cool. Yes, it definitely seems connected to sex magic, and all of that kind of stuff so oh, cool let's see let's see what they're intending for us to do with it <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh looks like we have a set of these oracle cards and it says moon magic deep moon messages oh my gosh let me un let me unwrap this for you guys i'm really excited for these because i i know last year they gave us an oracle set that was um these different doors from around the world and each door had its own message so that was really cool um there's a little thing that says how to use the cards let me read that our ancient ancestors often relied on divination to gain insight 
we too as modern people can also benefit from receiving regular messages from the energies. Pull a single card each morning. It is a simple act that will help guide your day with a solitary insight. Hold the affirmation to your heart to integrate it for the day. Okay, so I'm gonna take these. I personally, when I do anything like this, I always like to shuffle rather than taking like just straight off the top. Um, I don't know, it's just an intuitive thing. I've always just felt better shuffling rather than just going for it. Ooh, okay, so this is the one I'm gonna go with. It's like a dark moon, okay. It, it's a waxing crescent. First of all, that's cool that they're telling you the phase of the moon that you're choosing, but it is, I will not remain stuck. I choose change. That's powerful. <laughs> that with the other Oracle card that said, basically, you need to declutter, meaning you need to change. You need to get rid of some stuff and change your ways a little, maybe. I see you, universe, trying to tell me. My husband will appreciate it. <laughs> all right, so here is our Damiana Herb Leaf. Oh, actually, let me see if they tell us any information about those cards, maybe um, who created it. Okay, the Moon Magic Deck by Stacy DeMarco. This wonderful small deck is a great friend to carry with you during your daily routines. As stated within the deck, and then it just, it tells you exactly what I told you about how to use it. I like those. I will definitely be putting that maybe on my coffee table so that each morning I can remember to um, pull a card and kind of see what it is my intention for the day. Oh, oh, that smells so good. I wish I had better words to describe herbs to you guys because half the time I'm like, it's lovely. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. But that doesn't tell you anything about how it actually smells. Like a bright earthiness. Like almost like a hint of lemon kind of. I like it. All right, let's see what their intention for us to use it for. Okay, so let me read this. Um, you may find Damiana included with an herbal tea blend as an aid to conjuring lucid dreaming during sleep. Ooh, that's cool to know. Um, classified as a member of the passion flower family. Makes sense within the name. Uh, Damiana serves as a relaxing agent and a soother of moods. Okay, okay, I see where you're going. We recommend taking the time to work with the herb slowly to gauge its effect on your practice. Start by including a small portion of Damiana into an incense blend you intend to burn during vision or divinatory work. As you allow the smoke to waft through your space, allow the energies of the sacred herb to elevate your consciousness. If you prefer not to include Damiana within an incense blend, include it within an herbal altar offering to call upon your guides. So this one, it says basically intended for ritual use, like external, not necessarily ingesting. Um, it also says recommend knowing any allergies or sensitivity, sensitivities you may have to specific herbs. That's smart to know. So you know me, I love doing some incense blends, so that'll be really cool. All right, here's our candle. Let me open it up. Carrying on the trend of that beautiful, like indigo blue. I love it. Okay, for the candle, it says, Apparently it stopped recording, so uh, I'm glad I caught that before I got too far. All right, so we'll get back into it. For the candle, it says, we have hand-rolled this calming intuition mini spell candle with the intention of activating your psychic sight during divina divination or meditation. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to clear your thoughts, easing your anxieties and frustrations so you may receive messages more clearly. Very nice. Looks like our oil. Let me get this unwrapped. Sorry for this is like a weird angle, but it's the only place I could really get my camera to sit without having to actually set up everything. Okay, this says Celine. Am I reading that wrong? Celine? All right, well, let's give it a smell. That is very uh, rose bright. I feel like there's rose in that. Uh, let me read. <laughs> yep. Okay. We've enchanted this magical anointing oil with rose, lang lang, gardenia, jasmine, and chamomile oils. In addition, we have included damiana and jasmine herbs as well. Inside your oil, you'll also find a Lemurian quartz set to personify oneness and cheer aura. We have also included a special mixture of our goddess of the night magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this anointing oil. Uh, the base is sunflower, just so you know, um, in case you do get this. That way, hopefully, always check these before you um, 
do much, too much anointing. You want to make sure you're not allergic to anything in there. <sighs> this makes me sad because rose is an extremely overpowering scent for me personally. And I don't really love it. It is like floral, but too much to an extreme. Which makes me sad because I know so many people really love it. But for me, it's just, it just gives me headaches. Like, just, ooh. So, I'll see. Maybe I can use this in the incense as like some of the binder. We'll see, but oh, it's beautiful. If you like rose, it's definitely very rosy. Oh, here is our stone. This is our sodalite. This is pretty. See how like speckled it is? That's cool. This is actually a lovely shape. You could like wire wrap it for like a nice pendant. That's cool. Let's see what it says about our stone. We've included a sodalite tumbled stone within the collection to bring enhanced insights during your psychic practices. Allow this stone to be your companion on your journey through deeper intuition. So like, even if you don't, you know, you could obviously just hold it while maybe doing some meditation, um, but I do think um, wire wrapping it and maybe having it as like a necklace or even like a keychain is something to keep with you would be really lovely. I don't know if I would throw it into your purse and keep it with you throughout the day. Unless you're wanting to have that kind of stuff happen while you're out and about. I think it would be great, especially for meditation purposes. Sorry if I'm a little like off during this video. I'm just tired. Not so much that it's like, oh my gosh, I need to like rest right now. Can't do anything. But I'm just, I'm tired. So sorry, please excuse my lack of energy. I promise I'm enthusiastic about this. I just don't quite have the energy to show you. I'm going to clean up all these little scraggly things go everywhere whenever I open these boxes. Okay, so we have our incense. It literally just says ritual incense. They are getting worse and worse about telling you what's in this. But then I also can't be mad because I love their incense. It's just some of the best blends. It's actually very, like when you burn it, you actually continue to smell it. Some incense I find you burn it and then like it kind of just goes away really quickly. Um, but theirs like lingers for a good amount. Not like headache inducing but like just nice beautiful amount i think because they make nice blends okay so it smells like soap <laughs> like um ivory bar soap like just clean but literally like soap clean that's so odd i'm curious to see how this smells when you burn it sometimes it can be a little bit different than the initial smell what are they called like was it smell on cold or whatever cold smell all right these are the luna ritual incense sticks these wonderfully fragrant incense sticks were placed within the collection to bring you nurturing and intuitive energies during your practice as you allow the smoke from this incense to waft through your space take a deep and intentional breath allowing yourself to clear any tangled emotions and thoughts that may be holding you in a stagnant position this is all about change isn't it? wow this really is i'm gonna read i always forget to tell you like the paragraph at the very beginning that kind of gives you their overview of their intentions for the box in general um okay so my phone stops recording because i think it's running out of space so let me read the paragraph quite quickly and wrap this up as practitioners we are truly in awe of the information we receive from those things that are considered metaphysical or not visible to the physical realm these are the gifts that we hold as seekers of spiritual and occult wisdom. We work to catch the cue that is passed to us through spiritual guides. These messages can be found within intuitive practices, divination, signs, symbols, gentle reminders, or impressions. In this very special collection, we work with a variety of very unique tools that are intended to walk with us on our journey into intuitive realms. The magical items in this box are as follows. And then it names everything. I really love this because um, I am very much an intuitive person. I, I really follow those kind of like, almost like hints from the universe, like, hey, tap, 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 are you paying attention? So, um, and I know sometimes you'll notice I wear a little necklace that has a Lagu's rune, and a lot of that is about following your intuition. And for me, especially like sleep, it might dream, I dream a lot, and um, sometimes it is very like, sending me signs kind of thing so um pay attention you never know where it's going to come to you from so anyway that is this that's 
Anyway, that is this month's box. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for the kind of like weird setup and Gypsy Girl is right behind you. <laughs> I wish you could see her. So that's Gypsy Girl. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, oh my gosh, sorry, the camera's crazy. If you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the bell. Um, that way you're notified every single time I upload. I try to do at least two videos a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Thank you guys for all your love and support. It really, really does mean a lot. I hope you're doing wonderful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.